Hello brilliant minds, this is Maddie Adams, the channel where I research things for you so that you don't have to. And today we're going to start on a journey to explore some of the most jaw-dropping regions on Mars. Now, let's just get one thing straight. Mars doesn't just have impressive terrain, it absolutely dominates the solar system when it comes to the heights of its mountains and the depths of its valleys. We're talking colossal features that completely outclass Earth's puny attempts at mountains and canyons. But here's the catch. We've got to throw in a little disclaimer. There's a lot we still don't know about the other planets and moons in our solar system. For example, Neptune and Titan are shrouded in thick layers of clouds and haze, hiding who knows what underneath. So while Mars takes the crown for now, there may be even bigger features lurking beneath veils of the gas. But until we can peek under those cloudy curtains, Mars is the reigning champ. And before we jump into all of this, I just want to cover a quick glossary of Martian terms because Mars has its own lingo. So on Mars, we call the mountains Mons, and that's just Latin for mountains. And the valleys or canyons, these are called valles, and that's just Latin or Spanish for valleys. And then we have the planitia, which is the plains or the lowlands. Okay, so those are the major terms that we're going to be going over today. So now that we're talking the Martian lingo, let's get into it. So part one, we have the Olympus Mons and the Tharsis region. So this is the biggest volcano in the entire solar system, Olympus Mons. This massive behemoth here, it's not just a feature of Mars, but it's a testament to the scale at which the red planet really operates. It's 13.6 miles tall. Uh, 22 kilometers, almost three times the height of Mount Everest, which stands at only five and a half miles. So if you were to pop Mount Olympus down on Earth, its base would cover an area about the size of Wisconsin or Illinois. So just absolutely crazy. And I will link this ESRI tool in the description. It does actually have cool little size comparison tools here. So you can go in here on your own and kind of compare some of these areas to what they would look like on Earth, because keep in mind, Mars is a much smaller planet than Earth. Although still has far more massive features, which I just find absolutely crazy. So and it has these three siblings here that are also larger than any mountain on Earth. So just absolutely crazy. So, and this whole area together, like I said, it's called the Tharsis region. And it was likely shaped by a combination of intense volcanic activity and tectonic stresses. So because Mars doesn't have tectonic plate movement, it allowed lava to accumulate in one spot, creating these gigantic flat-topped shield volcanoes. This is unlike Earth, where we have moving plates that constantly shift volcanic activity, and that's why we have volcanic hotspots, and for example, why the Hawaiian Islands move over, you know, a single volcanic hotspot, and that's how we get the Ring of Fire, right, all that kind of stuff. So, just absolutely crazy. And then, so this is all tied in to this next region here, which is the Vias Marineris, and if you see it, so it starts here with all this crackling, and then goes into this absolutely massive canyon that stretches over 2,500 miles. So, I mean, it would basically span the entire distance from Los Angeles to New York City. And if you put that another way, it's, it's about as long as Mexico is tall from its northern to southern tips. So at its deepest, it is seven miles deep, right? So we are talking six times deeper than the Grand Canyon, which only reaches about one mile at its deepest point. If Vias Marineris were on Earth, it would basically slice the entirety of North America in half. So, how did it form? Scientists believe that the Vias Marineris was formed by the crustal stresses that happened during the rise of the Tharsis volcanic region, as we were just talking about. So, all these volcanoes rising over here, pulling and stretching on the crust, they believe caused this to all sort of rip open and then cause this great rift that you see here. So additionally, you know, ancient floods, landslides, wind erosion, and other things have helped shape its complex structure over millions of years. And now that we've covered these big mountains and this giant scar, I just want to talk about something really cool that I actually just saw when I was falling asleep last night, which is just these massive pyroclastic outflows that you have coming from the Vias Marineris and extending up, right? So like there's one right there, it's this big one right here, right? 
they're just everywhere. And I love how this one actually cuts right through a crater, which is just really cool. Um, but so this is the Maha Valles, and this impressive feature is part of a sprawling system of channels that extends northward from the Valles Marineris, and it cuts through the Martian surface, stretching all the way up to this basin in the north. So just absolutely wild. And I said, to me, that is just the most impressive thing about Mars, is that it's like half the size of Earth, but has features that are just far more massive, and it just makes you wonder what really happened here. And scientists are really still trying to figure that out today, you know, but just crazy to look at. So, I mean, two regions of Mars that both really just dwarf anything that we have on Earth. All right, let's just take one more look here. So you have these gigantic four shield volcanoes. And so if you want to start exploring Mars yourself, like I said, I think this is probably the easiest and the best region to start with. And like I said, I'll link this website and all of these these other pictures that I used here down in the description. All right, everyone, that's a wrap for this episode. Today we explored Mars's most iconic volcanic mountains, its deepest canyons, and the wild flow channels connecting them. In our next episode, we're gonna head east to explore the Hellas Planitia, the northern lowlands, and the mysterious Arabia Terra region. So if you're curious about ancient Martian seas or what the Martian poles have been hiding for millions of years, stay tuned. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed today's journey. And if you've got questions about Mars or you want to suggest a feature for me to explore next, drop a comment below and see you in the next video. I hope you're learning something new each and every day.